we should be positive people because the scriptures call us to joy repeatedly. You know, Paul tells us, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. And you've heard me share many times, the basic biblical principle is God never orders what he doesn't deliver. When God says rejoice always, he's basically saying, I offer you joy in every situation, no matter how difficult it is. I went out for a lunch with, I went out for lunch with a gentleman uh, last week. Uh, his wife died around six months ago. He has a, a son who has health conditions. He, he says he loved, loved his wife more than any husband ever loved his wife, he believes. Loved her to the end. Uh, she, she was very dear to him. And every time I've spoken with him, he tears up. He cries a little bit. That's how, how much he's broken, how, how wounded uh, he is, how, how much he's mourning the loss of his beloved wife. And I asked him when I went out for lunch, I said, how you doing? He says, it's a little embarrassing for me because people ask me that. And the truth is, is I'm filled with joy. Now, this is a man of faith. He says, I'm filled with joy. I'm, I'm, I'm grieving. I'm mourning. My heart is, is just broken over the loss of my wife. I miss her terribly. But there's a joy. Now, what does Scripture say? Blessed are those who mourn or happy are those who mourn. They will be consoled. When Jesus, when the Scriptures tell us to rejoice in the Lord always, it's because in every circumstance there's joy. The Lord gives us joy.